Hey there, welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You. So we've only got a couple more things to do before I'm actually done with this LP. First off, I'm going to... I have to set it back to ultimate mode. Um, I really recommend getting leveling up your characters a lot. And I mean a lot. Because we're about to do some one of the most difficult things in the game. But it's worth a sweet piece of equipment. Alright, go to another day. And after you get your team, like the Black Scholars form a team at Ramen Don after the tournament, head over back to the Shibuya River. Shibuya River, Shibuya River. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this. This one's actually going to be pretty fun. It also takes a lot of skill and a lot of training. This is the Shibuya River. It stretches 2.6 kilometers between the, Miyush the Miyazmasu and Tengenji bridges. But really, at this point, it's a river in name alone. There's no real source, and it's awfully shallow. Wait. What? It's been converted into a drainway now. A sewer. What? A sewer? Oh, there she goes again. And you were trying to go in there? Oh. They, there could be something inside. Sorry, but I'll pass. I don't blame her, I guess. These boots were so not made for sewer walking. Yeah. Yeah, this ain't my style, I yo. Well, I guess that's understandable. Alright, I'll go check it out. <laughs> Whoa there, black and blue. I'm going with... You? You seem like the last person who'd want to go in there. I mean, seriously. Other than Cheeky, of course. I could never live with myself if I let you go alone. Let's spend some quality time. Whoa! Uh, Cheeky? You guys, like, you ain't... Blue and pink? So, do they... I didn't know they went like that! Oh, great. Now you... Now look what you've done. You sure? You made it Shiki go all yaoi fanbo- fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and walk, dear. Oh. I'm going to. If something happens, I want to see- I mean, stop it. Whatever. I'll just go to. <sighs> Fine, you're gonna be disappointed. Wow. Really is just a sewer. Not much changes. However, I will point out that there is a really rare noise in here called Fife and Frog. It drops one of the black planet pins on ultimate mode, and it's in a very rare pin, the frog, and I've only found it once so far. But you can only find it in another day in this part. In the Shibuya River section. That said, let's keep going in Rubicon. Ah. What? What is this place? Uh, it's a river. Like a channel dividing this world from the next. Look, here he goes. The sticks of Shibuya. Hey, come on! Don't make this creepier than it has to be! It's a common misconception that Sharon ferried the dead across the sticks. That was actually the river Acheron. Acheron. The sticks circled Hades, the realm of the dead, nine times. Okay. Forming the boundary between Earth and Underworld. Fascinating stuff. Thrilling. But, like, this isn't really the sticks, is it? Does this look like Grease to you? Just ignore him. Honestly, Shiki, there's none to be that scared of. We're only in a very spacious sewer. Which used to be a river. A lot of junk piles. Alright, dead god's bad. The heck is this place? No joke! It's like Shay's Sewer Bar and Lounge down here! Seriously? You sure? Why aren't you saying something? Why are you acting like you know you're supposed to be here? What? I never noticed that really. There's fish down there. And they follow us. That's cool. Who's this guy? Hey, bro, let's play some Tin Pin! 
Sure, all right. Why is he with us? Wait. You're one of Tin Pin's creators. The wizard? Close. But actually, I'm second in line. The vice wizard of Slam. Whoa! So do you have secret tips for winning a Tin Pin? Really? Is all you think about, kid? A couple, yeah. Whoa! Teach me? Ooh, I'm totally gonna level up. That's if you win. All right, you're on! Seriously, kid. That's all you can think about. Just so you know, I'm wicked tough. I control three pins at once. It's sick. What? Ready, go! Oh. Slam. I, I would say this is tough, but... Oh! Slam. I'm just gonna wait for myself to respawn. He'll defeat himself in time. Oh. This would be tough if he's only having one pin. But as you can see, this guy has a really rare pin. Red Tin Pin Dash. Oh, he also has Excalibur. I think that's Excalibur. Which you get from King... From, um... The pin you get from the boss at Fort Tower. And evolve it through battle. That's Excalibur, I'm pretty sure. And see? I didn't really do anything in that. And one of his pins are already out. Ah. Thank you, Thunder Rook. You're always useful. Alright, now I just gotta wait for... Oh, see? Now I just gotta, gotta wait for his tombstones to defeat oh, his last pin. I don't really need to do much. They just gotta slam him off. Because once they're gravestones, they aren't controlled by you. They're you controlled win. by the dude, the player. They're controlled by the AI. And I won... No, Neku won! No, I'm sorry, Shooter won. Yeah, I win! Ugh, I blew it. One more time. Wait, where's my secret tip? Oh, right, my bad. It's all about concentration. You gotta focus every fiber of your being on your opponent's position. Okay! Then picture yourself winning in your mind. Right! Then you'll always win. Uh, a little more specific? It's always important to have a victory pose decided on before you play. Oh, come on, that advice stinks! Hey, don't bite the hand to feed you, kid. Right, sorry. Uh... I'll work hard on focusing and imagining. Poor kid doesn't can't see he's being messed with. But we get Tin Pin Dash from all this. Well, there's only one more thing to do. Go through the door. Whoa! This graffiti is... Cat's work. It's like... It looks like the wall tag in Utagawa. Then wait. Was that last room? Was that his place? You alright, black and blue? Come on. Okay. Let's keep going. Huh. Guess Mr. H is still a cat in this universe. It's pretty cool. The Room of Reckoning. I'm just gonna save right here and right right now. Right here. You know? I mean, I don't, I don't see why not. Wow. Not pretty far in this game. Huh. I spent a lot of time in this game now that I think about it. More than I did on my actual, on my actual cartridge, too. Alright. Let's do this. This place is huge! I never knew Shapiro had a basement! Well... This is the Room of Reckoning. That throne seats the one who rules Shibuya. The very fabric of Shibuya is woven, is woven within these walls. What? Say, Neku, what would you do if I asked you to play a game with me, where the winner took Shibuya? I think you were crazy! Hey! There's somebody in there! What? Hello there, Neku. What whoa, 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 the heck? I suppose I would. I should say, nice to meet you in this world. P Pink has a t -t twin? Well, yeah, but don't be expecting anything else. Still. Okay, yo, this ain't funny! Who led us into a hall of mirrors? 
I came from a world parallel to this one. So that world does it. This world does really exist. Existence branched, and our worlds took different paths. I just crossed over, and boy, are my arms tired. A parallel world? That, pun that joke was not funny, kind of. I ran into a spot of trouble there. Nothing major. <laughs> About one yachtogram. This world seems refreshingly cozy, very peaceful. No wonder you keep this kid. They keep this kid locked up in the basement. So your world isn't peaceful. At the moment, not exactly. But I assume Neku is holding down the fort. Me? No, the other Neku, from my world. Anyway, I'm expecting my ride home. If he ever decides to show up. Your ride? Say, let's play a game to kill some time. I always wanted to duke it out with you, Neku. Duke it out? Yes, but my Neku is busy with the game. Can't really bother him. Wait, hold up. Why should I fight you? I told you. I'm just looking to kill some time. But let's see. If you can beat me, I'll give you something fun. How about that? Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> just let me know. Just tell me when you're ready. And be ready. I don't fight nice. You're sure just challenged us to a chain battle. Not just a chain battle. This is a boss rush chain battle. If you play on hard difficulty or, or ultimate difficulty and win, your t the time is recorded in the final time attack entry of the save menu game report. Alright. I'm going to go over my stats quickly. Uh, let's start with Shiki. Alright. And actually, you'll want all of them to be really high power. And equipped and good like that. Alright, Neku has my phones, which is necessary for him. I must admit. He has black jeans, which prevent attack and defense breaks. Pie faces coat for the power puck, because you're always gonna use him. And his hat. He has about 129 attack. And wow, he has a lot of defense. And a base of 1604 HP. I wish his stats are a little higher, but they're good enough for now. Shiki has Miss Claw's outfit, which also has regeneration 3. And she has a base of 1383 HP. 78 attack and 48 defense. Again, I wish her stats were higher. But I never really spent time training her. Oh well. She also has the World Ends With You promo coat, which does a lot of boosts and hold that puck 3. Which complete which perfectly complements the Pie Face's coat. Really well too. She has her stuffed animal, which starts with three fusion stars and good stat boosts, and denim miniskirt, because I have nothing else better for her right now. And Yoshira. He has 1,384. 6 HP, a little more than Shiki. Uh, let's see, he has this, he has 108 attack. Not much. Not a, that's pretty good, though. And 70, the 87 defense. He has Mr. Mew suit, so he doesn't get knocked down. He has Pie Face's jeans, which is a necessity for him in his ultimate chain combos. Like, seriously. Because that's how his ultimate finisher works. The longer the combo, the, like, the better likelihood of him executing the ultimate finisher. So this is a necessity. The Samurai Helm is just really good stats, and it keeps the combo map up a lot longer. And the Royal Splendor Watch gives, does good stats and resists all negative statuses. But there's a much better equip for him later. And finally, Beat. This is actually... You'll really... I cannot stress how much you need to train this dude. Right now he has really low HP at 1,287. Attack at 103. And defense at 82. He has this pendant. For, actually, bond, the bondage pants black are really going to save me with that SOS null damage. Uh, he has this is pendant for a regeneration 4. That'll definitely save me as well. Actually, that's probably why I survived a lot. It also gives him a bunch of defense. And you'll need that. Uh, I have He has a World Ends With You promo team, which does a lot of stat boosts as well. Like, it adds more defense. 
And it also cancels out the attack of of the the minus attack from Sis's pendant. And finally he has his cap, which is just a really good thing for him. It gives him a lot of attack. Alright. That's basically all I've got. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, that black, those black bondage pants or the black are really good recommendation because of that SOS null damage. There'll be a lot of times where you'll be like, well, you'll be in peril. I'm going to be using the pin's innocence beam, which I've always been using. Lolita chopper, because Stellar Fury goes well with it. Lightning rook, a new one, but I've had sl little trouble slashing, so I'm just going to use that for massive damage. It's good instant power. I I just kind of like it. Eh. Not my style, but oh well. Uh, I wish I, I couldn't find anything better. Sweet Talk Tether. I cannot go on without this pin. It's so great. Uh, Wolf, which is just, you know, drag and dash and smash through them. And the I Live for Food for healing. Now, I realize that there are other healing pins in this one. One specifically is this piece full. Because it gives you one more healing and has 50%. But... The reason I like this one is because it heals faster. But I might need that extra... Uh, no. The, the quick healing is going to save me. As long as I have the player puck, that'll just do the rest for me. And that's what I'm going to be using. Alright then, Yashira. Let's do this. Ready? All set. Then let's begin. <laughs> the first boss. That's eh, the Your bird good boss. Is gone. Honestly, most of these bosses, you all the bosses you fought Sweet. again recently. Where did that fall from? Alright, there he is. Alright. Cornix Korn Cano shouldn't be too difficult. Ah, there he is. When he gets on the screen, just zap him with a bunch of stuff and whatever you've got. Because if you're also going for a really good score... I did not mean to hit that! Oh, I hope that doesn't affect my my game later. All right, so, dude, how did you dodge them? Why didn't that attack? Oh, dear. All right, he's back for another round. Really? I keep forgetting to use lightning rook. All these birds. I think we're pretty strong. Is that a car? I really recommend taking this time to get Shiki's, uh, to get the fusion stars. Alright. Mickey's back and he's gonna lighten and rook him to oblivion. There we go! Alright, first boss done. And we got his ultimate drop. Oh yeah, in case you weren't seeing, I'm doing this at level 1. I guess I didn't point that out and you didn't see it. Next is Ova's counter. Is Time for a taste test. Nice. He has, this boss hasn't changed too much. Just make sure that you don't attack him when he's absorbing pins. The psychs and all that. You'll be fine. For a taste test. And also, he can absorb healing pins, so don't do that. And now he's gonna attack. Oh, no. Don't combo. 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 No. Oh, as you can see, Neku doesn't have much to worry about. It's mainly Shiki that I've gotta watch out for. Now I'm just gonna. Wow. Uh, since I'm not really gonna have to really focus on this too badly, I'm just gonna point out right now. Then this battle, that you know how chain battles work, right? Of course you do. You're pretty smart. I tell you a bunch of stuff. The early battles go on pretty easily, but as the more chain boss, chain battles happen, 
like the next back like let's say you have two bosses like two chain of noise starting out right after another the first boss the first battle will be normal and easy the second one will be stronger wait what oh it's reaper beat i forgot you fight him in this thankfully you sure is strong enough to take him out as long as you use the player puck to your advantage you'll be fine because beat isn't that strong or difficult to move. Yeah, see? <laughs> see, he's done. So anyway, like, so basically, th I, these bosses would be easy when you're fighting them solo and not in a chain battle. But because they're all chain battles, they'll each be getting progressively stronger than they normally are. And here's our favorite mathematician making one last d appearance. Ah, yes. I actually found a really cool strategy to face this guy. Because when you're... And I recommend fighting him, his noise form. Like, for... On his day, just for good shadow matter drops. Alright, so this... But I'll go on about But, like, you just go fight him on ultimate mode. And just don't kill him. And he'll drop a lot of noise. And he's tabooed up now. Well... But as you were, the, but anyway, Shomen and Momoto isn't too bad. He isn't too difficult as long as you aren't on the same, the same horizontal plane as him. Like if he's in the air, stay on the ground. If he's on the ground, go in the air. As long as you keep that, as long as you keep doing that, you'll be fine. No. Okay, that almost hurt. And he's switching to Neku. For this, just. For this one, it's not really too difficult. If your Neku's leveled up enough, you doesn't have anything to worry about. Besides, sooner or later, you sure is going to destroy all the taboo noise up there. Which is why I love the love. Which is why I just love the love me tether pins. Because they'll just keep chaining. Because they'll just. Ah, here we go. When he throws out all the taboo noise, get the longest combo chain you can get. And you'll do, do your ultimate. And when he has the light puck and does his ultimate, he's done. Any last words? I think I'll heal. So, who's next? This now next boss can be interesting. Unless I'm forgetting it. Dark, what's out now, it's a fight in the dark. Nice try. This is a really good time for you to get the fusion stars against Terrapus Cannon, because he's not really that difficult. And by the way, for all the rest of these battles, you'll be using Beat, which is why, because Beat had the most bosses, which is why I recommended using, like, training him up a lot. He isn't really as trained up as I f would like, though, but it's not too bad. And that was pretty good, de decent damage, considering all of, all of his stat increases that he gets. Come on, just, there we go. Now normally I don't attack him when it's light out, like as soon as the lights go on, because he takes half damage if he isn't completely vulnerable. But I want Beat to get the light puck. All right, now I can hit him for normal damage. But yeah, this boss shouldn't be too difficult. He's almost dead. Why didn't he turn into his little bat form? Why didn't he turn into his little bat form? Well, you can still hit him in here. He just won't deal damage, but you'll let the light puck go on. There he is. What? Oh. Uh, alright. Well, he got his ultimate drop. Next up is Izuki Yashiro. Oh, she teleports all over the place and it gets irritating. However, if you use this velocity tackle in, you can actually tackle her and prevent her from teleporting. Ow. Now you see how much damage I'm taking from her now? You saw how much damage I was taking earlier. Like when I fought her on her own. 
and now, and I've leveled up a lot since then. And now I'm taking significant damage from her. Yeah. Welcome to the world of these challenges. Alright, just, just, can you just... Uh, she's still irritating to fight. But we're not done seeing her yet. Up next is Koki Karia. This guy's a lot easier compared to his partner. I mean, as long as you got a fa your fair share of projectiles. Nope. Yeah, he should be. Wow, he takes a long time to switch out. He just kind of seems to stay stationary. No. Also, in case you forgot, you can attack their shadow form and they'll take a lot more damage with physical attacks. Than projectiles. Alright, that was cool. Never would have thought. Next up is Zuki, Yashiro, and Koki Karia. But they're berserk right now. Which means they'll be dealing a lot more damage. Same thing. Same thing. Same and they also get a light pump. Pretty sure there's something with them I never showed off. Oh well. Oh, but these guys shouldn't be too much difficult. That's it. I know I just said that, but I was gonna get hit by Yashiro's crazy attack. And I really recommend using it now anyway. And they're done! I just kinda hope I hit Kirio that, that last time. Finally! There we go. Next up, Tiger's Candice. Mrs. K. Eh, she can be a little tricky. But, hers has a little glitch. I'm not sure if it was glitch intentional or not. But when you fight her, well, not it's not when you fight her, it's after. Will you stop doing that? That's not, that's not nice. It's not fun or anything. All that Venom teleporting is irritating. All right. Second phase. Where is she? There she is. Yeah, yeah. I know normally I like to normally I like to just keep attacking her constantly, but I really don't recommend. Nowadays I don't recommend that. I recommend just attacking her once or twice, or a few times, because then beat gets the because then you class the player pop. You get to do a lot more damage. Also, if you have to heal before she goes, before her health bar goes to completely green, I recommend doing that. Because, you know, at this point, you lose your pins. Now, I was told that if, that you need to, well, in order to do good in this part of the fight, you it depends on the shadows. If you end up in her shadow, all of her clones disappear. But if she goes in your shadow, she begins attacking you. I forget who told, who told me that off the top of my head. But thank you for telling me this! I never understood that phase. But this phase is easy. You just find her, and then do a combo on her. Alright, now where's Rhyme? Nope, not there. Not there. Not there. Alright, I only got one more use before it recharges. Awesome! Sorry, Mrs. Kanishi. You're done. I'm digging it. All right. Now, remember what I said about an interesting glitch or a bug? A At this point, after you beat her, your healing, your ter the, your limited item, your limited gone. use pins, recharge. Now, this it. battle is the real irritating one. This is the deal breaker right here. The only way I'm able to actually do good in. This battle is by by actually manipulating how you take damage as B. Because Shiki's going to do a combo on you no matter what. That's guaranteed. What you can do, however, is try to is make sure that B is always in the air when she does the combo. That way, B, B gets knocked down. 
Because, see, when Beat's on the floor, he takes a lot of damage and gets an attack bonus. Because of the finisher. Wow. Okay, don't do that, Beat. No, 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 no. However, if Beat's in the air, then he has a chance of getting knocked down. Stop doing that, Beat. I'm digging it! Try harder. Be careful. It's, it's more profitable to take a little damage than a lot of damage. Oh, cool. And when she switches, that's fine, too. No, you... you gotta stop doing that. So yeah, that's my general strategy for this. And if you can get a level 1 fusion, go for it. Because that's like the best thing you can do right now. Oh. It saves you from... It's like an instant healing pin when you need it. Oh. Alright, now I just need a skull. There. Awesome, now I have a little safety net. Because you'll need those in this battle. Yeah. Oh, looks like Shiki's a little indecisive here. I can use this to my advantage. Come on, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. You're done. Yes. Megumi Kitaniji goes down. Such, such power. Not done yet. Anguis Cantus remains. Eh, don't worry, Shiki will be fine. Just block. Yeah, see, all we gotta do is block from it and we'll be fine. Yeah, we got this. We've only got one more healing pin and a level and a fusion. Oh, how did you get hit by that? And there's the snake. The snake, he's a lot more dangerous when he's on Neku's side of the screen. So therefore, if you want him to go down to Neku, simply go to near the top of his screen. What was that? Just watch out for those orange bubbles. Seriously, that's all you need to watch out for. Oh well. Oh, and don't stay too close to his face. He still because he has that chomp attack. But actually, this. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Get out of here! Get out of here! Uh, this is working. This is working. Nope. I'm not getting hit by that. You saved me, Shiki. What? He's not dead yet. Whoa. Well, be sure to time your invincibilities. Your invincibility frames. And now we switch to beat. This one's a little bit different because she doesn't get the invincibility frames. And her attacking style is a little different. Too. But it's not too bad. I'm in the corner, you can't hit me. Oh, he can't hit me, so he goes up. Dude! How'd you hit him on the recoil? Yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. Okay, now I'm out of healing pins. Oh, yeah. That is dodging with style. Well, he's almost done. I'm almost done this boss rush. Oh, I'm not paying attention, am I? Beat. Beat. Do this. Beat. 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 Oh, I did it? A and I'm done. No taboo show. No final boss fight. We're done. And we got everything. Vipe. And he's done. Alright, now we get... Look at all that pin points we're gonna get. Um... We're multiplying 600, 700. Let's just speed this up then. Because we're multiplying 600 by 700 by a lot. Are, are we done yet? Are we done yet? How, how much am I getting? Are we done yet? 
That was a nice distraction. Dude. Well, I hope this was entertaining. Huh. I feel like as though I've had higher time. Ha! Nice work, Neku. I knew I was right to pick you. Not that you're the Neku I picked. Well, that was a fun few minutes. Hmm? Here's your reward. Just let me know if you want to go again. I may be stuck here for a little while longer. I received a six-pin starter set. And we got the Angel Feather. And I had to use divine means to acquire this, mis this mysterious feather that was once in the possession of Shibuya's composer. And we get 10,000 yen, 20,000, 3,000, 4,000, 50,000, 50,000 yen. So that's not bad. Can't believe we're done. Wow. This is great. I hope so. Oh. Now I'm going to equip that for a bit and replace that. Oh, where is it? It's. Ah, there it is. Along with everyone else's stuff. Whoa. You need max bravery for this, which I gave you, sure, because I planned ahead. And look at those stat boosts. 2,000 HP. That skyrocketed rather fast. And, oh, there's so much HP. He has 4,000, dude. All right, give me a second. I'm going to go somewhere. Yeah, there's somewhere I got to go. All right. So... I'm actually done. Like, like I'm actually done. I, I'm actually done. So much good stats. Oh, and also, I got this fan of the rising sun. Someone want to point out? It's it's in the shirt category, but it's a it's a fan. It increases defense by 53 in total, but it requires max bravery. I would equip this to Yashira, but I kind of need that. It's for the combo map, though. Huh. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't want need it. Alright, now I think I'll go somewhere. I was just... Whoa. I'm gonna save. I spent a lot of time on this. But it was well worth it. This has been really fun. There you go. Alright. Well, there's not much else to do in here. Come on in. Hey there, Neku. Cool. The last ability I need. Thanks, boss. See ya. Alright, Mr. H gives you the final gives you the ultimate ability for it, which is fusion stars for your sure. This is the only way to get three fusion stars in one item. It's kinda crazy. So next time, we've gotta take on uh we've gotta take on the final boss once more. I mean the ultimate secret boss. The ultimate enemy at the port, top of Pork City. And that's all I gotta do. I might also read the secret reports. So anyway, this is the Weech Fan 64D. And I guess I'll see you next time. Wow. So there's my stats. This will be the second to last time you'll see them. I did make a pretty good time too. Alright, see ya.